Hey, hey, limitless beings, Sky Hanley here, alignment coach and business mentor, bringing you another most amazing video today on how often should I post on social media? I get asked this question um, so, so much by, you know, business owners, um, you know, out there um, because look, you know, let's face it, social media, you know, it kind of, um, it runs our lives. I really hate saying that, right? Um, but no, but look, it's, it's, it's both magical and chaos. Like, you know, it can be our blessing or it can be our curse. It just depends on how you choose to show up. I feel like that's a video for another day. <laughs> Social media, our, our, you know, our blessing or our curse, which is it, right? Um, having some boundaries around it. Anyway, I could, I could totally go off in that direction today, but we are not here to talk about that, right? I need to make that video, don't I? All right, I will. What we're here to talk about is how often should you be posting on social media? Now, look, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of the most amazing videos that we're putting out. So, interesting question, right? Like, how often should you post on social media? And the answer really kind of is a lot. Like a lot, why not, right? Like why not? You know, what is stopping you from posting all the time? You know, like for me and my business, let me tell you, like we, you know, I, I, you know, one of my spaces of genius is content creation, all right? So it does come, mm, I don't want to, not always simply, you know, I, I channel a bit and, you know, and sometimes, you know, you, you guys see me here on the videos. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. What was I talking about again, right? <laughs> like you see me creating content, new videos and stuff like that as we speak, right? Look, it does come to me probably more naturally. However, don't let me saying that allow you to tell yourself some bullshit story that somehow it's different for you and I, all right? Because it's actually not. Like you, you know, if you are buying a belief that somehow you are not a good content creator or nobody is interested in what you have to say or you don't really know what to say or you don't want to be annoying or um, you don't want to come across as like one of those, you know, scammy pyramid type people by posting all the time or I just don't really want to annoy anyone. Like if you've got like, you know, all of these different, like so much noise, right? Like anxiety of all that noise, of all of that judgment going on, then yeah, it really, really, really stifles your flow when it comes to putting content out there. So when I say, you know, putting content out is maybe one of my places of genius, it's because I don't, you know, I, I try not to allow the the, the beliefs, the non-worthiness, the, the not enoughism, you know, all of that sort of head noise to creep in and stop me from supporting my tribe, from getting my message out there, from showing up, from leaning in and being more me. Now I say that, you know, I always use myself as an example, right? But to give you some context, all right? Because the answer to how often should you be posting on social media is literally just like, how long is a piece of string? How much content have you got? How, you know, can you get creative? What can you put out there? What can you repurpose? You know, like, because the question probably really isn't how often should you be posting on social media? The question more often is, if you're asking yourself that, the question actually is what's stopping you from doing it? All right. And normally the answer is something to do with a belief, a judgment, a wanting to be liked by everyone, a not enoughism, a non worthiness. There is something else going on, you know, like that me sitting here and saying you should post one times a day or three times per week or in two different places or, you know, whatever. Like, fuck it, right? Let me give you an example <laughs> that, um, you know, um, it's really interesting. Like I, I, you know, I used to um, follow this um, this chick on social media, and I thought, wow, she's like really, you know, like she's really good at sort of social media and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, and I'd always follow her, and I'd like what she was saying, and I'd probably comment here and there and stuff like that as well. And you know, and the algorithms too, right? The algorithms then knew to show more of her stuff to me because I was liking and because I was commenting and because of all these different things. So so the algorithms then know, oh, okay, you kind of like this content, this is engaging for you, I'm gonna keep showing you more, all right? So the algorithms, you know, show me more and I'd see more of her stuff and, you know, things like that. The two things come up for me here, right? The first one is, if I'm interested in her, don't you fucking think I want to see more of her stuff? If she's putting something out there and I'm like, hell yes to that, my friend. Like, that's awesome. That's great. That's really interesting. Da, da, da. Thank you, algorithms, for showing me more of her stuff, right? Like, you know, it's my choice to pay attention or not. The same as it's your client's, you know, choice for them to pay attention or not. 
you know. So why not be putting so much stuff out there or a bunch of stuff out there so your clients, you know, can attract towards you, can feel into you, can, you know, know, like, and trust you to all those amazing things. See your expertise as well as your experience. See your humanity. Get it out there, right? Because that's actually what's going to draw in your clients. Now, the other thing that I want to say, you know, because it was such an amazing lesson where about... Um, you know, about interaction and social media and the algorithms and, and, you know, and the busyness of our feeds and what we're being, you know, shown and all the rest of it. I was happy to see this, you know, chicks, um, uh, you know, social media stuff. And one day I saw a post and the post said, literally, she said, I've posted 34 times in the last like 48 hours on my new program. Um, like, like this post, you know, like or comment in this post if you've seen any of those, um, if you've seen any of those like posts regarding this particular program. And I was like, I haven't seen any of them. Like, and I'm on social media, you know, like I do so much on social media. I run a lot of my business on there. I'm always connecting with people. You know, I'm seeing her stuff. I'm still very, you know, I have a lot of discernment on the information that I soak in and the information that I don't. I'm not just mindlessly scrolling and comparing myself and getting into toxic arguments. Ain't nobody got time for that, right, my friend? And so, you know, but, but you know, if I see somebody like that that I like and I gel with and I want to follow and I see their stuff, like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to pick up. I'm going to see what she's saying. You know, awesome thought leader. What is that about? What is this about? Like, of course, I hadn't seen a single one of those posts regarding her program, right? So we often kind of have this view like, oh my gosh, but I don't want to be annoying or I don't want people to judge me or, you know, well, I posted about it today and it didn't really get any engagement. Well, maybe your tribe is not seeing it yet. You know, maybe you need to keep posting about it, swap out the picture a little bit. You know, I, I always do something called second part first. You know, I'll do a post and then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to post it again later because I want it to get a bit of traction. So I just literally go second part first. So I flip it and I see if that second pass actually captures people and then, you know, and then the first bit. Does that make sense? You know, and I'll change the picture and I'll do a different brightness and all this sort of stuff, right? You are not annoying people. And if you are annoying someone, guess what? They're not your tribe and they're never going to be. And that's totally cool. And they have, you know, full right as a human, right? Total sovereignty to be able to go, you know what? I'm just not going to follow them anymore. Right. And the funny story is, you know, that particular um, chick that I did follow and I thought was really interesting and amazing, you know, and all the rest of it. Um, I found out that, you know, a lot of it was, you know, show it was a little bit in the front end. And I'm not here to shit on anyone. I promise you that what I am saying is I now choose not to follow her. I snoozed her. And so I never see her stuff anymore because I don't want to see it. Right. So. It's that simple, you know, and if that doesn't harm me, that doesn't hurt me, that doesn't hurt her, like it's no drama, right? Like it's as simple as, you know, that, that you know, if, if you want to post something, if you, you know, it's like how successful do you want your thing to be? Whatever it is, your product, your program, your services, like if you want it to be successful, share more and make more offers. Get yourself out there. Put yourself in front of a camera. And if that makes you want to vomit inside, fine, no worries. Write a blog, do a podcast, you know, put posts up, whatever it is, right? Share more and make more offers. So how often should you post? You know, look, to give context, I, nobody is expecting you to quite be, you know, like it, like, like I said, you know, we create content. It's taken me many years to be able to pump out content of value, right, at the level in which we do now, okay? But to give you context, you know, we probably make about maybe four or five posts a day. And I say we, I have team that helps me get my, my posting around to all the platforms, right? Um, you know, we, we post maybe like four or five times a day, you know, in about three or four different places. Alrighty, that takes team. You know, it's not all me doing that part. I create the content and then I sort of go, okay, go, go, like, oh my gosh, right? Because it would be insane. So if it is just you in your business right now, then what feels really doable for you? How can you batch create a bunch of content that resonates with your tribe, not just shit, right? But how can you batch create? How can you make it easier for yourself? Do you like doing video or do are you better at writing? You know, lean into what you're great at. Don't hide though. Don't tell yourself some story like, Oh, I'm just not good on camera, so I'm just never going to go live, right? Step out of your comfort zone. Show up for your tribe, and I promise you that will serve you so much more than whatever procrastination or hiding or perfectionism or paralyzed in inaction BS, you know, that could be going on for you right now. So how often should you post? As often as you fucking can. 
Get yourself out there, all righty? Multiple times a day, at least, you know, if you can do twice a day, you know, even if it's Monday to Friday, do a poll on the weekend or a gratitude or I don't even know, right? And if you need help with this, like if, you know, if you are really feeling stuck, because again, look, you know, Content creation, it can be learnt. There are tips and tricks to make it easier and better. There are ways to connect with your tribe. There are ways to connect with yourself as well, to draw out what you stand for, what you stand against, what you want to draw into your business. What does that look like? What are the desired outcomes, the benefits for your tribe? All those different pieces, right? You know, sometimes, yes, you may need an upskill in that area. That's not to shame you, right? That's to say there are people like myself out there who can help you in those ways so that when you are doing something like social media it is coming from a place of joy fun play pleasure passion not the land of shoulds because you should be posting because some strange girl in a pink leopard print top told you you should be doing it you know it's coming from that place of joy and wanting to share and wanting to connect in more deeply with your tribe because you fucking love them and why the hell not and you're the solution for whatever problem it is that they have so hell yes to that all righty and so look, there are people like me around that can help you with that. So if you are interested, of course, as always, you know where to find me, reach out, find me on social media, find me on social media, funnily enough, right? Um, you know, I always love making new friends or head over to our community group, Soul Empire Unleashed, so that you can stay up to date with everything that we're putting out. But the funny thing is, guess what? The algorithms aren't going to show you all of it. But you're gonna see a lot of it, I hope, you know, because there are a lot of there is a lot of useful content um there. You know, videos like this and always the offer, you know, to reach out if you do, you know, if you are ready to up-level your business and step into that new incarnation. Um I know every new incarnation of your business requires a new incarnation of you, then obviously I'm here, you know, to help uh, facilitate that. All right, you guys, love you so much. Hope that was helpful today, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye, 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 bye.